Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for coming from all over the world and watching my videos over and over and over again. Thank you for the support and thank you for the wonderful comments you make. I really do appreciate it. The first item I have today is a talk by He's known as Coach Prime, but I know him as Deion Sanders. I've, I've watched this guy since he played football way back when. And <clears throat> he is, without a doubt, one of the most inspirational people that I have ever heard. And I wanted you to hear what he has to say here because I think it, it's really, really inspirational and cool. You you don't college don't we require multiple classes? You heard their major classes. Yeah, right, right, right. That's the multiplicity of things. I can't even see not seeing some of the stuff that y'all are doing. <laughs> but why do we just define ourselves and say that we have one thing, the one opportunity? Yes. Then if it does not happen, where do we go? What do we do? I want you to be happy. We 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 played every darn thing until we can play anymore. You, just like when you were a kid, you didn't just go outside and play hopscotch and that was it, you come on back in. No, you played, you had the hula hoop, you had the hopscotch, and you had the yo-yo, you had all kind of stuff. Now we're doing one darn thing, we're just learning how to play this one darn video game until we seem like we master it. Then if it don't work, we're upset. And we, we now we got mental health. And I don't understand it whatsoever, I understand mental health, I truly understand that. But I want you to do all that you are capable of doing. Why are you limiting yourself? Why aren't you really enjoying life? We only get one shot at this thing called life. And time is your most valuable coin that you possess. Be careful how you spend it. And be careful who you spend it on and who you spend it with. Time is every darn thing. I know we're chasing money. I know we're chasing fame, we're chasing wins, we're chasing women, we're chasing men, we're chasing academics, we're chasing all kinds of stuff. Time is the most valuable coin that you possess. Make sure you understand that, please. Every time I hear him speak, I get inspired. He, he, he just the most inspiring speaker and his message is always very positive, very uplifting and very challenging. He wants to know why you aren't excelling at everything that you do. And he doesn't take no for an answer. He just doesn't. It doesn't matter what it is. If you if you challenge him with something, he is going to take it on and he's going to beat it. Now, this next thing is titled Fighting for Free Press, Protecting Journalists and Their Sources. Catherine Herridge. I'm not going to show this to you, but it's on YouTube. It's her um, opening statement at a congressional hearing by the uh, Judicial Committee. Judiciary Committee in the House regarding a bill that's coming up that is designed to protect uh, journalists so that they don't have to reveal their sources. If you don't know Catherine's story, she has been fighting in court for two years now to keep from having to reveal the sources that she used for a certain story. And then now the, the government is threatening her with $800 a day fines if she doesn't reveal the source. You think about that, $800 a day. That would bankrupt almost anyone. But she is refusing to budge and she is fighting hard. And uh, to his credit, Elon Musk is helping her. And it's all about free speech. It's all about the ability of journalists to tell stories based on valu valuable and reliable sources that reveal things that the government doesn't want revealed. And 
there will always be this tension between the government that wants to hide what they're doing and the press that wants to reveal what the government is doing so that the people can understand what's going on. The next article I have, again, I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm just going to give it to you in the links in the description. As Catherine Herridge and Cheryl Atkinson testify about assaults on press freedoms, it's on the Cheryl Atkinson site, and she has several links that you can uh, click on and follow up on if you want to watch the videos of them testifying or you want to know more about the story. But Cheryl tells about how now both Catherine and Cheryl worked at CBS at one time, and uh, Catherine was fired by CBS, and I don't know the reasons why, so I'm not going to speculate. But uh, Cheryl left CBS because they wouldn't let her report the stories that she wanted to report, and so she went independent. But uh, because of the work that she was doing, Cheryl had her her uh, computers hacked by the government, and and they they went in and got all the information about her sources, who was giving her information, and so forth and so on. It's like. <clears throat> You know, if I was in government and somebody suggested that to me, I wouldn't say no. I'd say, hell no, you can't do that. That's a violation of the Constitution. But apparently there's nobody in our government that ever says that, or if they do, they get slapped down. It's ridiculous. And then the last story I have is FBI whistleblowers say the Bureau needs to be abolished. And I do want to read this one to you because there's some stuff in it that I think is important for you to hear. Uh, I have highlighted the sections that I want to talk to you about. <clears throat> so this is the story. FBI whistleblowers blowers say the Bureau needs to be abolished. There's two whistleblowers that are currently testifying before Congress. And this is the kind of thing, and you can see this is a lengthy story. Well, what, am I, what happened to my, oh shoot, I don't have my highlighting anymore, okay. Uh, I have to try and find it. Okay. So one of the, one of the uh, agents that's a whistleblower is named O'Boyle. And um, it says, the days after the May 2022 leak of the Supreme Court draft opinion saw attacks on pro-life uh, pregnancy centers and Catholic churches. Pro-abortion vandals attacked Catholic churches at least 236 times and pro-life pregnancy centers at least 90 times, according to Catholic Vote. O'Boyle said he had driven out to Virginia to take a role at the FBI Academy in Quantico and his family was in transition. I came to Virginia to report and they suspended my security clearance, took my gun, my badge, accused me of leaving informa leaking information to the media, O'Boyle recalled. Yet, he said, he has since heard from another whistleblower that those who accused him of leaking information to reporters knew that was false from the beginning. So they're just using it as an excuse. The FBI rendered us homeless with a two-week baby, O'Boyle added. The FBI suspended O'Boyle without pay in September 2022, and he remains in limbo. The FBI refuses to allow him to take another job until he resigns. So what they do is they, you know, there are, we have laws that are protecting, that are supposed to protect whistleblowers. But what the FBI has done is they've found a way around it. What they do is they suspend you without pay. And then they won't let you go get another job unless you quit. So you're, you're, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. It's a really sneaky and dirty thing that they do. Now this is another one. Stephen Friend, another FBI whistleblower, said his wife's Facebook account disappeared after she reached out to someone at the parental rights group Moms for Liberty. My wife's Facebook account was permanently deleted when she sent a private message 
to someone with Moms for Liberty. Now, how is that even possible? It's supposed to be a private message. And yet somehow the government found out about it and got Facebook to delete her account. The FBI's Richmond office notoriously cited the Southern Poverty Law Center, a far-left activist group that puts mainstream conservative and Christian groups on a hate map alongside chapters of the Ku Klux Klan. In a memo last year about radical traditional Catholics, a few months later, the SPL uh, uh, wait a minute. Let me read that again. The FBI's Richmond office notoriously cited the Southern Poverty Law Center, a far-left activist group that puts mainstream conservative and Christian groups on a hate map alongside chapters of the Ku Klux Klan in a memo last year about radical traditional Catholics. A few months later, the SPLC added Moms for Liberty to that hate map. Friend said he joined the FBI in 2014 and worked it for seven years on Indian reservations. He then worked on child pornography cases in Florida, where he was told that wasn't a priority. <laughs> Later, he said, he was put on a joint terrorism task force focused on the riot at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. Quote, it was apparent that we were manipulating statistics on those cases, Friend told the Heritage Foundation audience. He said the FBI planned to send a tactical team to arrest a January 6 protester, a significant escalation in Friend's eyes. I came to my supervisor, expressed my concerns, Friend said. He activated this process. I had multiple meetings and they facilitated my suspension. Both O'Boyle and Friends said the FBI can circumvent laws protecting whistleblowers by suspending security clearances, clearances without firing FBI agents. Whistleblower protection exists, but the FBI has a hack around it, which is they suspend your security clearance, Friend explained. He said the FBI keeps agents on unpaid suspension until they assess whether you're a threat to national security. <laughs> oh, boy. The process is punishment for so many of us, he added. Friend ultimately resigned and joined the Center for Renewing America. But uh, speaking at the Heritage Tuesday, both FBI whistleblowers called for the end of the FBI. I think you have to abolish the FBI, O'Boyle said. Local police departments and others coordinate with police departments in other parts of the country. He conceded that some federal law enforcement agencies may be necessary, such as the Border Patrol, but insisted that the U.S. Marshal Service can take over many of the FBI's roles. I think it needs to be shattered and scattered, Friend said of the FBI. Disarm the FBI, make them unarmed investigators like they originally were, and force them to partner with local agencies. So these are men with experience inside the FBI who've seen its inner workings and know what's going on. And as soon as they blow the whistle, they get suspended. So they have no pay. They can't get another job unless they resign. They're, they're in limbo. And they're doing it on purpose, skirting the law. Now this is the law enforcement agency. The FBI is the federal law enforcement agency. And they are deliberately skirting the law to accomplish their ends. I agree with O'Boyle and Friend. The FBI needs to be eliminated. It needs to be completely gotten rid of and turned into an investigative only agency. Take away their guns, take away their badges, take away all the power that they have, and just let them do forensic science. Now, Having said that, they'll probably come to my house and want to know what I'm talking about. And I'll give them what for. They won't get in my house without a warrant. <sighs> I'll tell you, what's going on in our nation right now is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It's, it's a total abrogation of the Constitution. It's a total ignoring of what we are supposed to be by the people in power. We need to get rid of every single one of them. Get them all out of office and replace them with people who care about the Constitution. 
that's the news for today. And as always, I pray for you. I pray that you will have an abundant life. I pray that you will live a long time. I pray that you will be healthy. And I pray that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he will do the same for every person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, with through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.